Welcome back to all of you at home and to Julia, who's here with a fun and easy DIY project. So easy, in fact, that she said I could do it. So, Jules, I'm going to follow along. Here goes nothing. Tell them what we're making. <laughs> Tracy, I have full faith in your DIY ability. Absolutely. So what we're doing today is, I don't know if you've seen this, the internet sensation all over TikTok. It is called Trash to Terracotta. Mm. So it is taking, you know, old vintage vases, jars, whatever you want, painting them with a treatment that'll make it look like ceramic, make them look like they're terracotta pots. Oh. Very cool. They look so beautiful. Well, the one she made look beautiful. So I'm going to tell the folks what they need for this. You need water-based <laughs> indoor wall paint. Any color will do. You need some old vases, jars, bowls, or a glass or ceramic decor item that needs new life. You need a paint brushes, a container to mix the paint, and some baking soda. So now, how, how do we start, my friend? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, Trace, is get your paint. Now the whole point of this being trash to terracotta is that what we're gonna do is use up any leftover paint that you have around the house. So what we're gonna do, Trace, is you're gonna dump your paint into your container. This is the fun part, Trace, do not spill. Okay. Okay, don't spill, you need a pH. Okay, Wah! there we go. This is where you might need a little something, something to, uh, I'm gonna grab my brush here. Okay, so yeah, so we got the paint into the jar. Now you don't need too much because we're okay. only painting vases. Okay. okay, so we've got that. Clean, we're not dirty yet, Tracy. Not yet. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your baking soda okay. and you're gonna mix it into the paint. So let's do probably, I'm gonna start with the tablespoon, okay? Now you're gonna put it in there okay. and just stir it up. Stir it with your paintbrush if you can. And that way you just start to stir it. And what should be happening is it should be getting thicker. Okay. Thicker and thicker and thicker. There's no like proper measurement, right? Like I can just keep going and adding baking soda until I get the texture I'm looking for. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Any any DIY that has trash in it basically means you, there's no measurements, right? So we just keep dumping that in as we go. And another little FYI, Trace, the longer you leave it, the paint, it'll also thicken up. So you can go have a glass of wine and come back and it'll also be thick. Okay. So you keep stirring your paint. What I'm going to show you, Tracy, are some of the jars that I've got here and vases. Okay. So you're going to go with like their thrifted vases. Now you want to make sure they're clean before we start to paint. Now you can see here, Trace, I like to keep the price tags on my thrift lines. <laughs> yeah, it was $3.99. Nice. Yes. So we're going to make sure that comes off before I paint it. Uh, so you pay, put, take off any labels that you've got, any sort of sticky stuff, make sure that's off. And then all I'm going to do is just give it a little spray. I always have a little bit of soap and water. Spray them down so they're nice and clean so you don't have any dust on them, mm -hmm. especially if you're using old vases from the house, right? They may have dust on them. You just want to make sure that they're all clean, clean, clean so we don't miss that step. Okay? How's your paint? Do you have thick yet? You know what? It's getting thicker, Jules. So it's getting... My thing thing is the, ba right? the baking soda is uh, it's coming out a little bit chunky so I'm just breaking up some of the chunks in here how do I want it no. to look Show okay me the yours. chunkiness don't worry the the chunkiness is what we want. We yeah. love the chunkiness. That's okay. what, and what, I'm so glad you mentioned that. Okay, because now I'm gonna start painting. Do you have your vase ready to go? Do you I'm want, ready. Is it dry? You ready to go? I'm ready to go. It's clean, okay. it's dry, Let's go. it's Let's ready go. to go. So you just start painting it, and if you come in with some chunks, push down on the brush. Push down. Now you don't need to go super thick at this time because ideally we're going to do two coats. Mm. But you want it, don't worry if you have those chunks. That will actually give it even more of the pottery look to it. Okay. So you just keep painting it along. The idea is that we're trying to make these vases look like they're pottery, right? So that they're chunky. Right. And so you just keep painting it like that. Okay, so um, mine is so, um, getting a little bit smooth. I don't know if maybe I needed a little bit more baking soda, but um, it's looking beautiful. I mean, I, I really actually love the paint right? color. So nice. The, and it's, I'm sure it's covering well. Like that's what I like yes. about this paint. By using the wall, you know, latex wall paint mixed with that baking soda, it becomes a very thick texture. So it covers really, really well. I went sort of big on some of these paint uh, strokes. And so there's sort of like some drippiness. And I think that's kind of part of the charm, no? 
Right? You're getting this, Tracy. Yeah. You are a DIY expert. <laughs> you are getting it. That's exactly. You're not supposed to worry about that. That's why this is like you can anybody can make it. Yeah. Right? So you just exactly like chunk it on. It doesn't matter. You get that great coverage. Strokes are fine. And then when you do that second or third coat, it will really turn into that sort of pottery look. Um, I love my vase. Honestly, guys, it is unbelievably easy. So uh, go around the house, find a whole bunch of items you want to make new and do this to it. Jules, thank you.